Hello, good morning, everybody. I just want to quickly show you this 18 I'm about to do right now. I finished installing five solar panels, connected it to a solar hybrid inverter with a 2.5 kilowatt hour lithium battery. And this is the last thing for me to do before I leave sites. I just thought that it would be nice if I show you the procedure for this very one. Now, I got in and discovered that this part of the building has already been dug out for the 18 and some other load wires that has been passed across through these pipes and has already been aided as you can see this is a 10 mm wire i guess uh, so i decided to choose this spot because initially let me take you to where i did the installation the second apartment so i was supposed to do it take the eight wire to that side close to where the inverter is but as you can see there are a lot of plumbing pipes here i don't want to destroy anyone I don't know how they did the arrangements and I saw that this place already open. I said that okay, this will be the best position for me to place my earthen and just add to the earthen of the house down here on this pit. You can see some shackle and other earthen materials. So all I have to do is just put this one down. Just put this one down to the earth and connect my wire on this clamp i bought a clamp in my previous solution i've not been using clamp because yeah i buy my materials i don't want to see it there i just had to ask somewhere else and i saw it so i'm going to clamp the wire on this stuff and just take it down period i don't have to do anything more nothing less you can see all i have to do is just to clip this one on the wall and i've already got clips here I've got some two hour clips. Now, this is a two prefer mm wire. Don't mind me, some person say I was I'm supposed to be using 60 mm for 18. I'm not eating a company by the way, but anyway, we know that. But sometimes when you do these kind of things, when you decide to charge, when you add the, the money for 60 mm wire or 10 mm wire for 18, most times you want to do a proper 18, you might even be spending close to the amount the person spent for the entire system so we just have to do what we have to do at least half a loaf is better than no bread right so it will still work to, to very large extent compared to when there's nothing at all you get the point so already the etching of the house is is worth it you can see the 10 mm cable they use sharp that's nice so I'm also going to edit the inverter, connect the inverter's A terminal to the earth terminal of the DB. Then for this, I'm taking it to the surge protecting device earth terminal. You get the point. So that's it. So all I have to do is to tie it around this stuff. And you know what's next now? The rest is history. Once I so let's really tie it, I'll just take it down. Then when the electrician wants to come and complete this stuff, I think he still has one or two stuff to do here. When he wants to complete it, then you just bury it completely. Then that'll be it. All right, here you go, here you go. I've done that already and uh, everything is fine at the moment. So all I have to do at this point is to take it down. Take it down. Yes. Take it real down. Bear it. And also the wire too. So when the electrician comes, you understand that I've added something to it. Okay. So that's the thing. So when you want to do anything, try as much as possible to go for to go for bigger cables. Six mm at least, ten mm, even sixteen mm cable. Because ethane is one of the things that is very underrated. It's very essential. The proper ethane is very essential. It's something that is a no-brainer. And a lot of us tend to underrate it. So the fact that I'm using 2.5 mm cable doesn't mean that it's the standard. Yeah. Because most times, YouTube is a funny place. When people see your work on YouTube, they just want to come and start telling you that you don't know what you are doing 
That you're supposed to use this, you're supposed to use that. Why didn't you use this? Why didn't you use that? You're supposed to know that a lot of things go on behind the scene. Sometimes some clients will specifically tell you that they don't have money for 6 mm, 10 mm, you should use 1.5. Sometimes some clients will even buy the wire and give to you to do the editing. So in that case, what will you do? Will you tell them that, sir, no, I can't do this? You have to do it. A lot of things go on behind the scene. It doesn't mean that we don't know our job. We know what to do. We know the standard. We know what is obtainable. But then, but then again, it is what it is. You just have to make do with what you have and just move on sometimes. But when it comes to the point where we are given full control over what to do and we have the resources, then the best is not a far cry. We know what to do to get the best. You understand the point? It doesn't mean that this wouldn't work. It will work. But at best, what I'm showing you is just the procedure. In case you want to do yours, it's just the procedure. So don't mind the cable. When you want to do your own, you can get your 20 mm cable and 16 mm cable to work best. So that's all for that. I'm going to show you next. I'm going to show you what I have inside and I'll just connect the wire to the earth terminal of this SPD and that will be it. Okay, this is what it looks like inside. We have the 3.5 kVA solar IBD inverter and the 2.5 kWh lithium battery connected together. As you can see, that's the SPD. The wire is already connected to the earth terminal of the SPD from the earthing outside. You can see connected then let me show you the inverters at the terminal you can see uh, i already connected it to the inverter and i hooked it up to the frame of the distribution box i will trace the wire to that frame you can see the earth terminal is connected to the frame of the box so you can also put it there to add the inverter you can see the inverter is working right now active and everything is all right at the moment and I can say we are good to go for now. So that's all I have to tell you. Thank you very much. Please subscribe. See you again.